Hello and welcome. I'm Kristen with Grayson Stardust and today I'm going to continue working in my Identity in Christ journal. If you've seen my first uh, video about this, you would see that I did my prayer page and today we're going to go ahead and do our next page. So here's the plan that I'm going to be using. This is on my Pinterest, um, but it's from here. I will have everything linked in the description. That way you'll know where to find things at. Um, but we're going to do I Am Loved, which is Romans 5, 8. And I may do I Am Strong, Ephesians 6, 10. It just depends on how I want it set up, whether I want it to be two pages for one uh, verse or one page for one verse. I still haven't decided. I'm actually doing this and planning this as I go. So you're welcome to follow along. So let's go ahead and get started. So it's Romans chapter five, verse eight. In this Bible, it is the New Living, I believe. Yeah, New Living uh, Testament, or not Testament, Translation Bible. And I got it off of Amazon. Um, they don't sell this version anymore. I think there's a new version that came out. Um, I'll try to find it and also link it below. So, let's see. I said Romans chapter 5, verse 8, which is I am loved. Let's go to it. But God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. So, I already made stickers for this, um, which I'm also going to link below. These are the stickers I made, and you can also find them in my shop as well and purchase them. And on my blog, I have a free printable for you to download and use as well. So, let's go ahead and get started with I Am Loved. Just gonna move things out the way. So I should have cleared off the other side of my desk before doing this, but I did not. So let's go ahead and get started. So in my printable, I have uh, the word loved. So I don't know, see the pages in this journal, which I got from Walmart. It's by U Style. Um, honestly, I, I don't know. I tried looking for the journal on walmart.com to link it but i couldn't find it so if you're in walmart your local walmart and you come across this journal it's a very good uh thick journal it has quite a bit pages which i'm literally this is how thick it is but so that's why i was undecided on whether or not i was going to do two pages or just one um i may do too but who knows um so i'm going to write i'm not gonna write right now but i think i'm gonna do romans 5 8 right here and then write the verse below 
So let's just plan out our page where we want the stickers to be. And here's all the different stickers that's in the kit. I have pre-cut them. There's quite a bit of different um, words as well and a bunch of different elements. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video to plan out where I want the stickers and then I'll be right back. placed my stickers where I wanted them and I'm going to go ahead and write out the verse and I'm going to write out what it means to me and why I am loved or how I am loved by Christ. So here's a look at what I wrote and I added some questions that I answered so if you saw me kind of like pausing and thinking that's what I was doing I was trying to think of questions I could ask and answer so pretty much the title I am loved it's Romans chapter 5 verse 8 God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. So I asked, what did God do to show me he loves me? God sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die for my sins. What does this mean to me? By God sending his only son to die for my sins means that God loves me deeply. He sacrificed his only son so I can live by Christ and through Christ. This is a reminder to me that God loves me unconditionally and I'm so loved by him. So that's pretty much what I did. So I have this page emptied and I'm going to go ahead and do the second one. I am strong, Ephesians 6.10. So let's go ahead and I'm not going to do two of them all the time. Um, it just so happened that's what I have time to do today. So Ephesians 6.10, a final word, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. So I'm going to go ahead and journal that on this page. And I'll speed up the video and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is what I have. Um, if you saw me using this, this will be a free download on my blog. I had created this, printed it out, and laminated it to stick in my Bible. All it is is all the pieces of armor that God gives us. And underneath it, it says, you know, a little example of how we can use each piece. So it's very handy to keep within my Bible so I could go back as a reminder on how to use each piece. 
So right here, I am strong, Ephesians 6 verse 10. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. What does it mean to be strong in the Lord and his mighty power? To be strong in the Lord and his mighty power means to put on the full armor of God so that I will stand firm against all evil. And you could find that answer like right after verse 10 within verse 11 to uh, 12. And also this I had journaled this page and this printable is also in my shop if you would like to use it. Um, and I printed it out on clear sticker paper. That way I can still see the words as well. What is the armor of God? Now this is answered... For the rest of this uh, chapter before the final greens, which is 13 to 18. So, number one, the belt of truth, which is God's word. The knowing the truth of God's word and living by his truth. Number two, the breastplate of righteousness is to live a Christ-like life. Shoes of peace. Walk in peace by following God's word, which also being Christ-like, using Christ as an example to live by. Four, shield of faith. Know God's truth and believe in him. Number five, helmet of salvation. Know that you are saved through Christ. Number six, sword of the spirit. Pray and be thankful for what God has given you. This is just a rundown that way. Um, I won't have to create another page. But I could always, always refer back to this little template. Which I can easily also tape within here too. To have it like this. Which I probably most likely will print out another one and tape it alongside here that way it will also be in my journal so that's what i have for today for y'all um in the next video i will do i am enough and if we have more time i'll probably do i am able to do hard things so it just all depends on how much time i have to do either one or two um now I don't journal every day at least I, I try to but um the reason why I did too is because um I had to miss a day I didn't have enough time I had appointments to go to and it's just I had a lot during that day but I'm not the type of person that journals every day um and I'm hoping that I can do this every day if I can can't then I'll most likely do two a day which I mean that's fine with me that means I could get it done quicker by doing two a day but hey that's just me <laughs> I'm probably just rambling a lot so but stay tuned for the next video and I hope y'all enjoy and if y'all have any questions please let me know bye